Let me start by saying that there are different types of rice. What I have here is regular white rice which contains a lot of starch. The healthier alternative to this white rice are jasmine rice and basmati rice which can be very expensive. This brown rice however is similar to ofada rice but the taste is not as pungent. They both have less starch and are healthier alternatives to your regular white rice even though they contain sand. This brown rice is cheaper than all the other rice I mentioned in this video. If you know of any others, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. So in this video, I would like to share with you how to wash your local rice. This could apply to this regular brown rice or even ofada rice or any other white local rice that you have because they have something in common which is the sand. Personally, I don't like to sort it because <laughs> when it's colored this way and it's raw, you can hardly differentiate when it's sand and if it's rice. So I will just add my water in the pot, allow it to come to a boil and then I'm going to add my rice. By the way, my name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja, Nigeria. I make videos on healthy living, great recipes and how to achieve all of that on a budget. So if you like videos that teaches how to cook great meals, eat healthy without necessarily making holes in your pocket or to be on a budget, you want to subscribe to this channel, you will love doing that. Yes, the idea of this is to parboil it. When you parboil the rice, the weight of the rice gets light and there's tendency for the rice to be on top. While the sand, which cannot get lighter, the weight doesn't change, remains at the bottom. So when you have the rice on top, um, the sand at the bottom, more like you're washing your fish or anything like that, you know, the sand just comes to the bottom. So I'm just going to let this cook for about um, five minutes or so, depending on the burner. So in my strainer, which I prefer to use stainless steel, because if you use plastic, it's not good for the body. The heat can melt part of the plastic and then it will seep into your food. You don't want that. So I'm just um, pouring my rice and rinsing the pot, making sure that to get every bit of the rice out of this, which is what uh, we intend to do. So I'm done with that. Now the next thing I'm going to add my rice back into the pot and pour enough water to this. I'm also rinsing my strainer to make sure I get every bit of the rice into the pot so the first water i'm going to just pour away i mean i've already poured the first water out, but this one i'm going to also pour it away and because sometimes you may see some chaff and all those other stuff that floating on the water i just want to let that go off and then the next thing i'll add more water and then this is the part that the real work begins so what i'm doing now is i'm just using my hand to stir or turn the rice around giving room for all the sand in just in case there's anyone being mixed with the rice so that it will be there'll be opportunity for the sand to settle at the bottom of the pot so gently i'm going to be carrying the bulk of the rice at the surface and i'm going to keep doing this until all the rice is finished this requires patience so you don't need to be in a hurry at this point i just want to there's no point just the sand is settled at the bottom of the pot at this stage what you want to do is just, I mean, just trash it just so that you don't take any risk because that bottom part is risky. So you can do this for a second time if you want. But I just do once because maybe because I've become a professor in washing local rice. So do what works for you guys. So this is our finished product, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So I'll be seeing you guys in my next one. Until then, stay safe. Bye.